Hey YouTube, I'm Kishan and in this video you'll learn what is Node.js. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to never miss out any video. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So what is Node.js? Node.js is a runtime environment which utilizes Google's V8 engine that lets you run JavaScript code outside of the browser. Don't be confused here, Node is a runtime environment, not a backend language. The language you use to write the code is JavaScript. Node is used to build the backend services of our application. Our application can be a web app or a mobile app. Node just powers up the backend services of an application. While Node.js does not change the syntax, structure or really anything about JavaScript itself, it does come equipped with many application programming interfaces that extend the capability for backend development in JavaScript. Support for file systems, HTTP requests and child processes glimpse some of the features offered towards the undertaking. The same cannot be accomplished in a browser. Moving forward, Features of Node.js The first is the scalability. Node.js applications are easily scalable vertically and horizontally. While vertical scaling lets you add more resources to the current nodes, horizontal scaling enables you to add new nodes quicker. Furthermore, Node.js applications does not require a large block of the entire development process for it works along with a set of microservices and modules. It's as simple, easy and fits perfectly for startups that are looking to grow. Next up is high performance. Node.js runs on Google's V8 engine that compiles with JavaScript code directly into the machine code. This makes it resource efficient as well as accelerates the framework speed. In fact, Google themselves invest heavily in the search engine to consistently improve their performance. Next is large community support. Established in 2015, Node.js Foundation is an impressive group of founders from leading enterprises such as IBM, Microsoft, Fidelity and SAP. An enormous number of software developers and many active Node.js friends are constantly contributing to the ever-developing and nurturing Node.js community to support the fellow developers. Next up, it boosts development speed. Node.js allows developers to accelerate the web development process with its lightweight and varied tools. Node.js, along with NPM libraries, help you replace bugs and decrease the size of your web application with its reusable templates. This optimization directly influences the time to market. The rich ecosystem. When it comes to the simplicity and richness of Node.js, NPM is the only word that comes to your mind. It is reducing a great deal of time and cost involved in the development and time to market with the number of libraries and packages it offers. Next up, how Node.js has helped top companies. The first is Netflix. With over 130 million subscribers and 1 billion hours of weekly data streaming, Netflix was looking for a scalable solution that could enable it to handle multiple requests simultaneously. The team chose Node.js so they could use the same language in the backend and the frontend. They also built a single page application that significantly decreased its startup time. This resulted in an overall reduction of the startup time from 40 minutes to under 60 seconds. Next up is LinkedIn. Back in 2016, LinkedIn had around 63 million members out of which 59% interacted with their mobile app. To handle the increase in users, LinkedIn picked Node.js that enabled it to boost their performance by 20 times in some cases. What's more is that they were able to reduce servers from 30 to 3 and draw their focus on application development instead of troubleshooting. Next up is PayPal. PayPal reported doubling the number of requests per second and reduced response time by 35% or 200 milliseconds by switching to Node.js. This shows that Node.js is a powerful and highly scalable environment. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, do like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.